Hi, this is Jeff at Portworks. Today I want to show you how easily Portworks integrates with Marathon, which is the container orchestration platform for Mesos and DCOS. So to start with, you can see we've got a small Mesos cluster running with five nodes. The cluster is visible and accessible from both the GUI and the CLI. In this instance, we have three of the five nodes running Portworks to create a scale-out elastic fabric for containers. Now we're only using three nodes because that's the limit of the PX developer release, which is freely available from GitHub. If you want to create a larger storage fabric, you could use the PX Enterprise product, which scales up to 20 nodes in the first release. I'll be demonstrating my SQL here, so I've pre-created a 1 gig volume that you can see here. And you can see some of the radical simplicity offered through Portworks, where Portworks itself is deployed and running as a container. So let's take a look at the Marathon JSON file that will get used to launch MySQL. Here you can see that within the Docker definition, we are specifying the Portworks specific parameters that will be passed through to Docker, namely, the PXD volume driver and the volume mapping of where the MySQL volume will get mounted in the running container. Now since we only have three of the five nodes running Portworks, we'll need some way to tell Marathon to only schedule this job on a node where Portworks is running. And that's where the Mesos constraints come into the picture. When we started this Mesos agent node, we provided an attribute which specifies that this node is part of a rack or fabric whose value is PX. And this constraint section says that this MySQL job must run only on a node that is part of a PX fabric. So now I'll launch MySQL through the DCOS CLI and you can see its status in the DCOS GUI. You can see the Docker container running. And upon inspection, you can see how the Marathon parameters got passed through to Docker. Most importantly, the Portworks PXD volume driver. So now I'm going to access the MySQL container and create databases named Seattle, and Portland. Portworks Scale-Out Storage Fabric offers enterprise-class storage features like volume snapshots that can be applied at a container granular level. So here, I'll take a snapshot of the MySQL volume, and then I'll go and create a couple more databases named Austin and Boston. Now what I want to do is start up a different MySQL job through Marathon, but instead of the original volume, I'm going to start this job using the volume snapshot that I took earlier, before the second set of databases were created. So I'll copy the original Marathon JSON file as the basis, change the name of the job identifier, and then specify the snapshot ID instead of the original MySQL volume name. Now we launch the new job, starting off the snapshot. And you can see it's running status in the GUI. And I'll jump into the running container And as you can see, only the Seattle and Portland databases are there, which were the only ones present at the time the snapshot was taken. Boston and Austin were created after the snapshot, which you can see running through the original job. So that's it. With Portworks, 
you get extremely easy integration with Marathon and Mesos. And you can take advantage of enterprise class storage features like snapshots at a container granular level. To learn more, please visit our website or check out our free developer version at github.com slash portworks slash pxdev. Thanks for watching.